clap. Three, two, one, action. Last crow. Hi, welcome back to Broke College Kids Presents Movie Reviewer. I'm here today with the impeccable Alonzo Wells. Thank you. He's welcomed us kindly into his home today. This lovely home, by the way. Really oh, nice. Yes, no, it's, it's fantastic. I uh, bought it pretty low on the market a few years ago after my big hit, Shush. Oh, for sure. Debuted, yeah. And um, I've lived here ever since. Yeah, no, it's it's incredible. Um, so we're here today. We're going to be talking about the film Jaws. Have you uh, seen it? Oh yes, of course. You know, one of my favorites. Steven Spielberg is an an amazing director. I think I just, you know, he he truly influences my work, as you can see in some of my other films. Yeah. You know, I just realized we are talking about Jaws today. I'm gonna need to be right back, guys. Guys, hold on. Just keep the camera rolling. I'll be back in like three seconds. Okay, just give me one second. Well, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to promote my latest film coming out on a re-release on the Blu-ray. You know, brand new technology, amazing features. Now, business shocks. I figure I might as well promote that while we're talking about Jaws today. Business shocks is an amazing movie that truly grips you and just pulls you right into the story. And it's about man versus nature versus taxes. And I believe you will enjoy it. You know, I thought that plug would be long okay, enough. Okay, I'm good to go. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so talking about Jaws today, right? So I just got to get a little more comfortable. Comfortable, yes. Yeah. yeah. In, in my home. Oh yeah, thank you, by the way, for inviting us. We appreciate it. Thought that was a bad idea. So, one of the great things about this movie Jaws is how suspenseful and thrilling it is. And it really starts off the tone with great from the start of the movie with, you know, the scene, spoiler alert, the woman in, in the ocean swimming and she gets dragged underneath and thrown around by the shark. You know, when they did that, they actually attached pulleys to like her chest and her back leg and they didn't yeah, tell yeah, her. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Honestly, I, I can't think of thrilling and suspense while you're wearing that fucking outfit. Oh, I'm sorry. Hood off? That might help then. Cool. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Anyways, so they didn't tell her when she was going to be pulled to get that real fear out of her. So are you planning on implementing, implementing anything like that in your re near, near to come films? Well, with my recent success of Shush, you know, my first attempt at a horror movie, I've always thought of trying another one. And so I do like the idea of throwing your actors in there, kind of like Alien, you know, when, when that one scene, you know, with the thing, Oh, yeah, no, yeah. when the, uh, the little creature comes out and pops out of the chest, like, ah, and then they all freak out. What? Yeah, the little creature thing comes out of their chest. I don't think we saw the same movie. Anyway, um, I've, always, I've always wanted to do this idea where there's this killer, mm -hmm. you know, but the actor doesn't know they're in a horror movie. So we set them up, mm -hmm. cameras all around the house, and then... We tell them they're in some, you know, mockumentary drama kind of thing. Okay. You're just detailing their normal life. I'm liking and then it. all of a sudden, there's a killer after them. And, of course, you have to use real knives. Oh, well, obviously, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, real blood is much better than fake blood. Come on. Well, I mean, some can argue for the camera's sake, fake blood looks better, but we'll move on. Um, so anyways, uh, not a lot of people actually know this. Jaws is an, adapt an adaptation of a book by um, Peter Benchley. And he actually made like a Stan Lee kind of cameo in the film. He was the reporter on a beach. And so I was wondering if you're planning on doing any like Stan Lee, Peter Benchley style cameos in your future films. You, hey, what was that? Still here? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I just zone out when people stop, start talking about books. Not really my forte. <sighs> it makes forte. All, like too much sense actually. But anyways. Um, no, books, bad influences. You never know what they're going to do to your mind. I've heard that books have influenced lots of bad things in, in the past, and I just want you, want you kids to stay away from that. Anyway, go on. Solid advice from Alonzo Wells, everyone. Of course. So, um, 
Are you gonna do any cameos in your films? That was the question. Cameos? <sighs> you know, like Stanley. I've always thought about it. Um, one of my most influential directors that I've looked at my entire life is M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> old. <laughs> you know, one of the most influential directors I've ever had in my life would be M. Night Shyamalan. And I've always loved his cameos, but I don't think I've ever really wanted to do it myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm more of a behind the scenes guy. You know, I don't really like the attention. Yeah, no, totally. So. You don't see yourself making a cameo in the future? Um, I mean, maybe maybe in other director's works. You know, if if like Lucas or you know, Spielberg oh. wanted to wanted to have me in one of their movies, I think I would appreciate that. Okay, yeah. Spielberg? Yeah. Who? Alright. Um, oh my god, man. Fucking Spielberg. So, one of the great the greatest things about this movie is the fact that you actually don't see the shark for about an hour and 20-ish minutes into the film. And it really adds this strong sense of fear and suspense and mystery to it. And so I was wondering if you, if you plan on doing any future horror films, are you going to go that route of not really showing like the evil thing or the bad creature uh, and, and just kind of build suspense or you just want to go right for it? You know, that's, that's a tough question. Um... I've always, I've always loved that sense of fear and sense of dread, you know, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, as I did in Shush, the librarian is there a little bit in the beginning. Yeah. Um, she's kind of, yeah, she says, Shh. yeah, she's exactly. Yeah. I see, I've Someone seen watched it. my movie. Seen, yeah, Thank good. you. Yeah. Thank you. But, but you know, it's just, it's when you don't see the creature, you know, what fun is that? You know, Absolutely. Back in the 1930s, you know, what creature feature didn't feature a creature? That's why they were called creature features. And I just think yeah. that if you put in that much work into developing an, you know, this antagonist, then you, sh you should probably show him. Did you know he had a name in Jaws? A name? Yeah, they, they actually named the shark. shark. What do you think? Yeah, what, what would you name him? Um, that's a fucking shark. Yeah, I'll give you a hint, it's super easy. It's Bruce. It's, it's an animal. They named the shark Bruce, everyone. <laughs> if I feel like you ever he's seen Finding I, Nemo, Fisher Friends? I feel like he's interviewing himself now. Well, I mean, I like to give a nod to the audience sometimes. Gotta be. Now, you know, in the last in the last interview, I mm -hmm. told you I didn't watch animated films, and mm -hmm. yet you deliberately asked me if I had seen an animated film. Well, it's Finding Nemo simpler. You really should see it. You, know, you, you can't keep find mentioning it this Finding Nemo, and I just don't. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, just stop. Okay. Note taken. Now taken. Now, the, something really great about the story that makes it so compelling is the, the, the main protagonist and really kind of hero of the film, Chief Brody. Mm -hmm. And he's just, his, the struggle he has through the film really leads you through it. What? You know, I, I feel like whenever we do these interviews, mm -hmm. we're all on separate pages. What do you mean? I mean, you... You guys have this tendency to just focus on the villains and the, you know, these ugly people. And I, I don't understand. You know, the world is bad enough. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why you have to implement this kind of evil into cinema. You know, just focus on the yeah. good guys for once. So you say Chief Brody's the villain. Well, yeah. I mean, look, 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 look at this. Look at this. <clears throat> the ocean. 70% of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know. All habitats for all sorts of manners of sea creatures. Yeah. They live there. Okay. Do we live there? I mean, kind of. It's all. No, planet. no, we don't live there. We live on the rocks in the bit in between the big puddles. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the sharks. The sharks are the apex. One of the one of the apex predators of the sea. Mm. They're just roaming around minding their own goddamn business, and then all of a sudden comes these stupid ass humans swimming into the water and. What do we expect them to do? Run away? No. No, they're gonna eat your ass. Well, I personally don't want anyone eating my ass, but sounds like a good note. <laughs> so, is you're saying who is the hero in, in this film? The hero is Jaws. The Jaws. shark. The sh it's what? his habitat. It's his journey. You know, seeing him Jaws' journey develop. From this mindless, you know, eating machine, just walking, wandering mm -hmm. about through uh, his territory, to hunting down these men that are ruining his day. 
you know, it's 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 truly an inspiring story. Mm. Very, uh, it just it shows you this disconnect between humans and nature, yeah. and just how powerful nature is, and how we do not belong out there. Yeah, you know, he dies at the end, right? It's just just another bad third act to what would have been a good movie mm. by Spalberg. Yes, yes, yeah, okay. great director. Mm-hmm. He just he needs to work on his his third acts. I think. Well, I think we're just going to cut it there after that. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching another episode of Broke College Kids Presents the Movie Reviewer. I'd also like to thank Alonzo Wells for graciously inviting us into his home and letting us. Here. <laughs> the hell are you doing in my house? This isn't your we house. We should probably. Hey! Get- hey! No, 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 hey! No, 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 hey! influential directors that I've looked at in my entire life. It's M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> well, anyway, one of my most influential directors that I've looked at. <laughs> Your face. Your face. Just don't look at me. <laughs> or put the, put the book in front of your face. <laughs> la 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 la. Shamalala. Shamalala. <laughs> <laughs>